Laboratory confirmation is needed to classify a patient as a confirmed case of Ebola virus disease and to initiate appropriate clinical management and epidemiological investigation. This video demonstrates safe collection, transport, and shipment of specimens to the National Reference Laboratory for emerging and re-emerging infections at the Research Institute for Tropical Medicine for investigation of suspected Ebola virus. Please observe the following general guidelines. Before collection of specimens, contact the RITM Surveillance Unit at 02-994-1887. Obtain only the specimens essential for diagnosis. Specimens should be obtained by trained staff experienced in specimen collection. As much as possible, do not use glass specimen collection devices or containers. The Ebola virus is detected in blood only after onset of symptoms, most notably fever. Specimens ideally should be taken when a symptomatic patient reports to a healthcare facility and is suspected of having an Ebola virus disease exposure. However, it may take up to three days after onset of symptoms for the virus to reach detectable levels. If the sample is taken less than three days after onset of symptoms, a follow-up specimen is required to completely rule out Ebola virus disease. Wear the following personal protective equipment while collecting specimens. Double layer gloves, N95 respirator, full face shield or goggles, long sleeve laboratory gown or coverall. For patients falling under the DOH case definition for patient under investigation or suspected Ebola virus disease, collect the following specimens. Minimum of 3 ml whole blood and plastic violet top or EDTA tube and minimum of 3 ml whole blood and plastic red top or plain tube or minimum of 3 ml whole blood and plastic yellow top or serum separator tube. The yellow top tube requires prior centrifugation to separate the serum from the clot. It is important to secure the tube cover with parafilm during centrifugation to prevent accidental spillage. Do not uncover the tube once centrifugation is done. Make sure that all specimens are labeled with the patient's name, age and sex, and date and time of collection. Failure to do so could invalidate the sample for testing or could delay the results. Also. Please do not attempt to open blood collection tubes or allocate specimens prior to sending to RITM. The sending laboratory is responsible in packaging of the specimens and in assuring that the specimen reaches RITM in good condition. Specimens for shipment should be packaged following the basic triple packaging system. First, wrap the sample container with absorbent material such as cotton. Place the specimen in a resealable plastic bag. When shipping multiple specimens, grab each specimen with absorbent material. Each specimen must be placed in a separate resealable plastic bag. Place the specimen or specimens in a watertight, leak-proof container. This is your secondary container. Be sure to remove your outer gloves at this point. Disinfect the secondary container before placing it in the shipment box. Prepare at least 6 frozen ice packs to maintain the prescribed temperature of 5 to 8 degrees Celsius. Place the ice packs at the bottom and size of the shipment box. Place the secondary container with the sample tubes inside the shipment box. 
such that the container is completely surrounded by the ice packs. Cover and seal the shipment box. Prepare the filled out Ebola virus disease case investigation form and the RITM official laboratory request form for special diagnostic tests. The laboratory request form may be downloaded at the RITM website. After filling out these forms, place them in a sealed plastic bag and tape the plastic bag and the shipment container. Address the shipment to Dr. Celia C. Carlos, Chief, Laboratory Research Division, Research Institute for Tropical Medicine, Philinvest Corporate City, Alabang, Muntinlupa City. RITM currently performs detection methods recommended by the World Health Organization. RITM currently performs antigen detection ELISA, IgM ELISA, and PCR for detection of the acute phase of the disease. RITM performs IgG ELISA for detection of antibodies during the convalescent phase of the disease. The turnaround time for all tests from receiving samples from RITM to release of results is two days. The daily cutoff time for receiving of specimens for testing for the day is 10 a.m. If you have questions on collection, transport, and shipment of specimens, please contact RITM Surveillance Unit at 02-994-1887 or through email at ritmsu at gmail.com.